The BISC DAO is a tool built on the Bitcoin network to manage the BISC network. And the key to understanding why the BISC DAO is needed is kind of in the name BISC network. BISC is not a company, it's not a nonprofit, it's not a legal entity of any kind, it's just software. And as a result, it doesn't have the apparatus that you would typically get with a legal entity to make decisions and manage revenue. So for example, there is no BISC CEO to call the shots and make decisions, craft strategy. And there is no BISC wallet or account to collect revenue. But these functions still need to take place. BISC still needs to make decisions, craft strategy, collect revenue in order to become sustainable. And so the BISC DAO and the BSQ token are the tools that make this possible. The BISC DAO facilitates decision making and the BSQ token facilitates revenue collection and distribution. You might be wondering why. Why do a DAO? Why not simply make BISC into a company or a corporation and proceed that way? The reason has to do with the core principles of BISC from the very beginning. It was always about three things, three core principles. Number one, maintain a high degree of user privacy. Number two, maintain a high degree of user security. And number three, this one is crucial for understanding the BISC DAO, maintain a high degree of censorship resistance throughout the BISC network. That means removing as many central points of control from the network as possible to maximize its resilience. And the BISC DAO really takes this idea to a whole new level. Let's look at how. So here we have a depiction of the BISC network without the BISC DAO on the left and with the BISC DAO on the right. And first I want to take a look at the bottom. So you'll notice that these uh, nodes are make up the trader network. So they're actually the same on the left and the right. And the reason for that is that it's in pretty good shape. The the trader network is distributed peer to peer, resilient. You take, you know, one trader goes offline and the network adapts and continues on just fine. Um, resilient, great, that's exactly what we want. The issue is on the top with the contributor network. If you look on the left without the BISC DAO, trader fees are all going to one place. And as it turns out, decision making is also largely happening in that one place as well. It's not depicted in the graphic, but you could imagine that decision making is happening in that one place and fees are also going into that one place. And so you don't, you don't have the resilience that we're looking for. What we really want is what's on the right. We want those fees to be distributed, to not just go to one place, but to be distributed to all the contributors who contributed value to the project. And decision making, we also want to be distributed among all the nodes on the network. So contributors should have a say in influencing the strategy and the direction of the project. And traders who use the, prod who use the software should also have a say in in the direction and the strategy of the project. And so the BISC DAO actually makes this possible. We'll look into practically how this works by walking through a, a concrete example in the next video and uh, show you an example of how this actually works.